So you're probably sitting there thinking, one, holy frick, those are some cute dogs. Two, how in the world did she get those dogs to do those things? How is she getting these expressions? How, like what? Well, let's cue that intro and then I am going to dive right in to all of my tips and tricks on how I get these dogs to make the goofiest expressions, the you know happiest of faces, and just really shine a light on their true personalities. So, intro. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Keegan, the owner of Floofy Studios. If you have no idea what that is, make sure you go check us out on Instagram, at Floofy Studios, for your daily dose of hacking cute doggos. And speaking of all these cute dogs, today we are really diving into my tips and tricks, all the tricks in my bag, of how I get the goofiest and best expressions out of these dogs, totally naturally. Well, not naturally, but not forced. Never forced, ever. So, I have many tricks up my sleeve, as I'm sure most dog photographers do, because like I've talked about in my other videos, you're not dealing with a human here. You're dealing with an animal that you cannot communicate with, with words at least, and they are tricky to photograph. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of tricks. So, first, the things that I use. <laughs> so my favorite things for a best expression are, one, peanut butter. Peanut butter is my all time favorite. It gets the whale eyes, it gets the tongue out. It's so good for goofy faces. Most dogs love it. Side note, not all dogs love it, which has been a very weird thing for me when I got into dog photography because I did not think that it was possible for a dog not to like peanut butter, but apparently it is. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Treats. Treats are obviously another great thing to get the expression going because usually the dog will be open face, ready for a smile, or if you have some good camera equipment, then you can toss the treats at them and get those mid-treat catching shots, which are my all-time favorite. They're the best for goofy faces, but they're tricky. If you need any tips on how to get those treat catching photos, make sure you go check out my other video on dogs catching treats. <laughs> I go over all my tips there on how I get these shots specifically. So other things are toys, especially squeakers or ropes. If you're playing with a toy and getting your dog really active, you can get some awesome action shots. You're also getting them working and getting them energized. So this usually brings out the smile, which we all know, please tell me you know that this is not actually a smile. <laughs> They're dogs. But it gives the impression that they are smiling, which makes the photo look happy. And usually they are happy, but they just don't express that with a smile. Do you know where I'm going with this? Okay, cool, great. Another thing I don't actually personally use, but that's because I shoot in studio and it's just not really needed in studio. But if you're outside and there's a lot of highly distracting things out there, you can use a dog whistle or an animal call. And one of my favorite dog photographers, dog breath photography, often uses animal calls like birds and moose, I believe. Check her out on Instagram, uh, dog breath photography, if you haven't already, because she's my idol. But that's what she uses, and I can imagine that it would be incredibly helpful if you're outside in those highly distracting areas. My next tip is let the dog be a dog. <laughs> give them some space, Give have a lot of patience, because when you're letting them do their own thing and really kind of call the shots on what you're doing during this photo shoot, your photos are going to turn out just magnificent because you're actually capturing the dog's true personality. It's not staged, it's not forced. They're not made to sit and, you know, do good boy things the whole time. They're running around, they're playing, they're doing what feels natural to them. And capturing that in a photo is going to be so much more important to your client because that's how they want to remember their dog the way that their dog is in his natural personality. And before I continue on, I know some of you are probably sitting in there thinking like, Keegan, they're dogs. They don't have personalities. Frick yes they do. 
Dogs have so many different personalities. I meet such a wide variety of different dogs, like all along the spectrum. So yes, they're totally different and they need to be photographed totally different. Moving on. My next tip is take play breaks. Take some breaks, stop what you're doing, and really just let the dog have a reset because this is a highly stressful thing that you're doing with this dog. It's a new environment, a new person. You've got this big clunky black camera right in their face that they may have never seen before in their life. So take it slow, be patient, and really take the time to let the dog relax reset. This will make such a difference on your photo shoot because your photos will visibly show the dog is relaxed and comfortable and having a good time. Also keep in mind that these photo shoots are training sessions. You're actively asking the dog to work for you. Sit down, maybe they do tricks, maybe they're catching treats, maybe they're having peanut butter. This is so stimulating, all of it, and they're gonna be totally exhausted. So giving them some breaks is so, so important. Last tip and 100% most important is you have to be this dog's cheerleader. And by that, I mean positive reinforcement through and through, no matter what. I don't care if this dog is the biggest pain in the ass that you've ever met and you just wanna like pull your hair out, you can't show it. You have to stay calm, you have to stay positive and upbeat because they can read your energy and your vibe so well, like freakishly well. So stay positive and re positive reinforce the shit out of this dog. Anything that they do that is remotely what you are asking them to do, huge praise. Yes, that's a good boy. Yes, you're doing so well. Like, feel it in your heart and then they will know that they're doing a good job. It will build their confidence and then they'll just wanna work for you more and more and more and it will help your photo shoot go flawlessly. If you're sitting at this photo shoot like, okay, okay Fido, go sit. Wow, good job, Fido, or you're not gonna say, well, real nice. Wow, this is the stupidest photo shoot ever, like I hate this dog, then he's not gonna like you. <laughs> if you are being patient, then they will eventually do what you want them to do. I recently had a dog that, for my photo shoots are 40 minutes. For 30 minutes, this dog sat on the side, walked around the backdrop, would kind of get close to me, take a tree, run away, and I, I mean, this happens quite often. But what I did is I just sat there, I stayed calm, I stayed patient and upbeat, and I just kept repeating in my head, he'll do it, he'll do it, he just needs time, he just needs to you know, build his confidence up. By the end of the photo shoot, I kid you not, this dog was jumping, he had his tail wagging, he was like, had a big smile on his face, which I know I just said it's not actually a smile, but he was having fun, his tail was wagging, and he was so confident, and you know, he left that photo shoot thinking like, damn, Good job, I did a great job at this photo shoot. I'm a good boy. And his parents left thinking, wow, that was a, such a great experience. You know, it wasn't stressful at all, even though my dog didn't maybe perform as well as I thought he was going to. I'm gonna end up with some amazing photos because I was patient and I took the time to really make it all around great. And that is the most important. And I've said this in past videos, but this is really going to be the basis around getting any good expression out of your dog and really knowing how to speak that dog language. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you do. Is being patient. Because if your dog is uncomfortable, then you're not going to get any good expressions out of him. And yeah, the photos will just suck. Truth hurts. <laughs> so anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get a notification for when our next video is up. Hope to see you on our Instagram page, at Floofy Studios. Send me a message. I would love to see all of the four people that are watching my YouTube videos. <laughs> anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.